And now is it okay? Yeah, yeah. It's okay? Yes, yes. Now it's and, okay. And talking about my hobbies, I like singing, dancing and reading books. And I have been running my YouTube channel. The name of my YouTube channel is Speak with Shatabdi. That's all about me. Okay. That's great. Nice introduction. Okay. So, ma'am, how many sessions you take every day? Oh my God! Actually, last four or five months, I didn't do practice. Uh, practice, and uh, in this group, I'm not active. But uh, now, just last week, I have uh, I started uh, taking me uh, joining others. If I free at that time, if anyone takes there, and if I free, so uh, I try to connect. So one or two people, yeah. Okay. Do you talk over audio call as well? Audio call only there in I have WhatsApp group, so there only audio call one and two people. Yeah. Earlier okay. I was doing more practice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how is your channel going? My channel going smoothly. Yeah. Do you take a uh, session on English theory? Earlier, yeah, I think four months, fifth month ago maybe. Uh, I don't know exactly, but yeah, I took session there, uh, 19th session. I took in English. Okay. Yeah. So how much did you pay for your uh, session? How much did you pay that time? At that time, I think 2,860 rupees something. Like my dad mentioned um, 3,000. But when I was going to uh, pay fees there, so they uh, gave me discount. So yeah, but 16 session. But at that time, um, uh, three session, uh, they canceled themselves some issues. So that's why three session, they gave me extra. So I took okay. actually. And yeah. for how many minutes, how many minutes they provide? Half an hour. Oh, yes. okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So has your channel got monetized? Yeah. Yes. So what, what do you think? How much uh, views do you need on your channel, on your videos? So uh, if somebody wants to come on YouTube and they want to uh, work on YouTube, it will be good how much views uh, they need in one video, according to you. Mm. Uh, yeah, one video there. If your channel growing good, 1K. If you got 1K, so your ch channel very soon, uh, your channel will monetize very soon. If you got uh, per every video there, if you get 1K, so definitely very soon your channel will grow, uh, will monetize. But only 50 uh, views and uh, 60 views and there 100. So that is not good. Because uh, and uh, most thing is every day uploading video is not good mm, because I did that thing every day I was uploading video in my channel, but uh, my channel uh, got a freeze. So my channel freeze actually. Oh, so everyone is saying that you have to be consistent on your channel. If you can uh, upload video every day, it will be better and your channel will grow. But you were saying that. No, no, no. Every day uploading video, uh, our channel is not a good thing. You, you, uh, what happened there? Yeah, there is a power cut. Actually, I have to open the windows. Please wait a minute. Okay, so what were you saying about uh, you have to upload videos? This is, is it good or is it bad? Is it bad? It is bad. Uh, you have to upload, you can upload uh, alternate day, otherwise twice and thrice you can upload. Uh, yeah, because one video, our one video uh, means there were uh, growing, going to uh, miss. People watch three days, one video people watch three days. After three days, they are uh, they're going smoothly, that video. But uh, after alternate days, good, otherwise after two days is good because my channel freezed. So that's why I, I'm not getting more views there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. okay. 
so uh, per week you can upload four videos or three videos hmm. one week uh, three videos yeah. have you uploaded a vlog videos on your channel yes yes i have uploaded yeah so now i started okay. uploading that videos also vlogs videos also so i have uploaded so what do you think are people are watching those kind of videos the most or they watch conversation videos actually you know i would like to say you genuinely in my channel videos uh, people who those are learning this language those people only watching videos if you talk about my hometown so they don't like uh, watching this kind of video not hometown and, and my house also no one can learn, no one watch my videos because they don't know what is the english <laughs> that's why they don't like watching they feel boring so that's why they are not watching this with this kind of videos but if yeah blogs blogs video is there blogs video and i put there in uh, my status whatsapp st status so they watch and they don't know uh, how to subscribe also how to do I mean their like and yeah so that's it oh that means all your family members and relatives and friends they know about your channel uh, yes yes yeah they know earlier i didn't tell anyone when i created only i told my uh, family members my children and my husband but uh, after mm -hmm. that uh, uh, after that when my channel uh, was going grow uh, going good so i started uh, uh, putting there in uh, status so that's why okay. my family members they know yeah okay and what do they say about your especially your friends what do they say about your channel Um, you said I, that you are really good. <laughs> Actually, you know, especially my friend. Uh, uh, I when I started uh, uh, my English journey, so they are thinking not only his friend, everyone, uh, relative also. Uh, they are thinking uh, why she is learning this language, where she want to uh, do and do job. Uh, now her uh, age is uh, she is old, going to become old. So why she is doing this thing? कहा पे इंग्रज बनने जा रहे क्या क्या करना है इंग्रजी सीख के यू नो लाइक दिस सम पीपल दे स्टार्टिंग टॉकिंग टू दे दे आर नॉट टॉकिंग टू मी नाउ डेज बिकॉज दे फील मे बी जेलस सो दैट्स सो नो बॉडी एनकरेज दैट टाइम नो बॉडी मोटिवेटेड यू दैट टाइम ओके Now also, now also, now totally they uh, stop talking to me. Uh, who's my relative? Who's some my friends? Yeah, I don't know, oh, but yeah. it's okay. I I want to do. So I'm not thinking about others. I want to do myself. Learn. I want to do myself something. So I'm not thinking about other person. Yeah, absolutely. You do not think because people are always they are ready to judge you. They are ready to criticize you. They will never encourage you, motivate you. And if you, if you do good or bad, they're not going. Even if you do good things, they will not say that you are doing great. Never yeah. ever they will say till that. So we it's better not to think about anyone. Do your job and let them see what you can do in your life. So my children and my husband motivate me. So it's okay, you know, for me. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. without family support you cannot do anything you cannot uh, go ahead in your life so that is what is really required that is what is really needed in our life and uh, apart from uh, what the people of society is going to say we don't need to worry about no one needs to worry about that yes yes, yes. okay okay Tell me about my yes yes what mm -hmm. do so i was saying Uh, what uh, are you able to say? Are you able to see any kind of changes after taking English theory or clapping the sessions? Which changes? Changes in my uh, yeah yeah. I love some uh, yeah yeah because you know why I uh, joined English theory because of there were tutor you know there were tutor and my my English was broken also. but actually uh, i wanted to connect them uh, means if i connect so there was tutor so everyone feel uh, before connecting everyone everyone feel uh, means uh, scared 
how can I connect because because there was tutor. But I wanted to remove my that scaredness. Mm -hmm. Just a second. I Okay. Yes, I wanted to remove my uh, that scaredness, so that's why I joined. And uh, it's okay. Those are also people. Uh, only the those they, those, peop those people know only English very well, and we are learners there. And if we connect there, uh, and if we start speaking confidently there, and whatever we have uh, any question regarding this language, so you can ask them, uh, and they will give you answer. So definitely, uh, we can learn there something. So that's why I uh, joined that English sharing. Yeah, but uh, I learned so many things, but it was uh, my English was totally uh, I means broken uh, now. So, but at that time uh, totally broken. Uh, so now again I wanted to join, but I don't know when will I. I will join again. Okay. Uh, so do they provide you PDF over topic? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. There is uh, topic available. But uh, they are not forcing you. You can do. You can uh, discuss only only that topic, which is topic they provide you. You, if you comfortable, uh, uh, explain that that topic, so you can. But you don't like, and you are not comfortable uh, discuss that topic, so you can tell them uh, if you have any other topic, so you can provide them your topic. Yeah. Oh, okay. But there are topic available. Yeah. So do you? Uh, are you able to download this PDF? Over topics? No. No. Yeah. Do they give any kind of notes? Do they give any kind of notes? Yes, yes. Their notes, yeah. They, uh, while um, their uh, box, I will notes uh, box available. So they texted there anything. So any spelling also. So they jotted down there. So you can able to read anytime after call that. You can saw that video and uh, they are available everything. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm. Mm -hmm. I one more question that do they provide you PDF? That means you can download those PDF and you can have with yourself those PDF. I don't know exactly. I didn't. Uh, I don't know because I don't have had a more idea. So that's why I didn't saw. I didn't see that is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. So I have asked you many questions. If you have any questions, you can ask me. <laughs> I have. So tell me about your English. How you? How do you learn this language? How did you learn? Because now you are speaking quite good. I'm while speaking fumbling. I'm stucking while speaking. But your English is great. So how did you learn this language? Actually, it was as a subject in our school. That time I learned. And after passing twelfth, I took admission in English honors. So I got three years, and then I did post graduation. I got two years. I learned five years this language very well. And after that, I worked on my uh, spoken English. I used to follow a lot of uh, native English channel, and I really learned so many things from those channel. I worked on my spoken English, and I learned so many things. The new assistant instructors. And everything about grammar, like what is uh, adjective, verb, adverb, everything, noun, pronoun. I learned everything. I worked on my grammar skills as well. And but if I talk about speaking, it's only been seven or eight months. I have been speaking on a regular basis with co-learners. Earlier, I didn't have anyone to speak, but these days I'm getting a lot of co-learners. So I get I these days I'm getting this opportunity to talk to other co-learners. But earlier I didn't have anyone. So what I used to do, I used to talk to myself only. All the as soon as as soon as I used to wake up, I would try speak in English. I used to record myself. I would talk in front of mirror, and this is how I started. And Unknowingly, when I didn't realize when I learned, and this, and still I believe that nobody can say that I am perfect in this language because it's a, it's not our native language. There are so many things that we all have to learn. So, no matter how many new things you learn, every time you are going to come across with new idioms, phrases, phrasal verbs. So every day you have to learn. It's like an ocean, so you have to learn every day. So still, I am working on everything. Like I'm uh, learning new words, idioms, phrases, and 
uh, every day I write down those new words and I try to discuss those words with poor learners. So this is how it's going. And these days I'm only focusing on my speaking part because I am. I feel that I'm good at listening. So this is, I don't get that much time even because I have to make videos. I have to upload those videos. I have to edit those videos. I don't get that much time to uh, listen English conversation videos. Uh, so these days I'm just only focusing on speaking. As much as I can, I am speaking with core learners. So this is how it is going on. That's how I learned. And still there are so many things that I have to learn. Yes, yes. Yes, so I have a, a last and a important question for you. Uh, not last, maybe two questions I have. So first is uh, uh, you uh, learn so many things regarding English. So what is the different idiom and phrases? What is their difference? And what is the meaning? Phrases that we use in our conversations and idioms, it has special meaning. Hmm. And I, I don't have exact answer because I have to, I, I, is, I have to read a little. Yes, I know, means, you know, uh, if, uh, uh, means like uh, now I'm over the moon. So you can speak this short, short, uh, shortcut. But what is the phrases? Uh, I don't know actually. How can you use phrases? What is the phrases? Phrases are, phrases are a group of words. That we use in our conversation. It's like as soon as sooner or later, that is thing. No, no, no. Hmm, I, yeah. I need to. I have to. Uh, right now, I am not able to uh, explain that in proper way. So I have to know the definition of phrases actually. Okay. Do you don't have any one example regarding phrases? Right now, no. <laughs> Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Because if I can't uh, answer you in exact way, I will not feel satisfied. So when I don't have exact answer, I, I don't uh, go uh, to explain that. Okay, so if any, uh, if you told me you learn uh, five years, uh, you, you, uh, you learn this language. Okay, so what is the miss, uh, if uh, not what is, if anybody want to only speaking, they like only speaking part, only English speaking, and they don't like uh, learn more grammar, deep grammar, because of while speaking. If we want to speak English, so their uh, basic grammar uh, we have to learn. That is a that is a uh, necessary. We have to learn basic grammar. But you mm -hmm. know, I like only speaking. I don't like uh, learn deep grammar. So then, how will uh, how can I learn proper English? So can I able to learn? proper English? Yes, so uh, just how we learn our mother tongue. We learn learned our mother tongue by just listening to other people. So we were surrounded by those people who were always speaking our mother tongue. So that is how we learn. So that person who doesn't want to learn English grammar rules, that person needs that environment. So that, that person is surrounded by those people who are uh, speaking English all the time. So that person needs to listen a lot and get in the pot. So we need to surround with those people who are always speaking in English. So that person have to listen a lot. Then only it's possible if somebody doesn't want to learn any English grammar rules. But I feel that grammar is really crucial in speaking English. If somebody wants to speak English, then definitely they need to learn uh, grammar rules because uh, I learn, we learned our mother tongue. We were surrounded by so many people who were always speaking in our mother tongue. So that's why we uh, picked up everything. But here is no one who, are, who is speaking all the time in English. So for that reason, we need to learn some basic grammar rules. And we don't have to learn so many things. Like if we know tenses very well, that is quite enough. And we have to know about modal verbs and prepositions and uh, passive structures of all models and tenses. So these are the things these are uh, required. And listening is uh, listening is also play an important role. So you have to listen a lot. Those who doesn't want to learn English grammar rules, they have to listen a lot. They have to surround themselves with those people who are always speaking in English. Just to learn our mother tongue, that's how they have to learn this language as well. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs>
Thank you so much. Okay. okay. Now I don't have any question. Okay, so can we wrap up the session for today? Definitely. I would let you know what is uh, the differences between the uh, phrases and the definition of idioms and phrases. Later. Yeah, because, you know, if you tell anyone, uh, I'm, I, I have been, I, mean, I, I learned uh, this language last five years and grammar and so, so many things. So definitely people will ask you question uh, regarding grammar because always people stacking mm -hmm. while speaking. Uh, they're in grammar so that's why so i think uh, you should learn you should learn and you should to focus there definitely with your, your answer and others. and these are the uh, benefits of this kind of conversations because uh, while i'm interacting with any people every time i'm coming across with new questions all the time we are not ready with all the questions so whenever we're having conversations with other people i'm getting so many new questions i what i do i just write down all these questions and i just try to uh find out i sometimes i research on that questions and i write down some uh, something about that questions and later i just try to explain those questions uh, to another co-learner this is how it is really helping me a lot to increase my knowledge